Hi, Year 6, this is your English. Um, I'm going to say that this is English for Tuesday and Wednesday because I think it's going to take you more than one session to put your poem together. So uh, hopefully yesterday you had a go at um, performing the poem, the Rangtang poem. Um, and today what we're going to start doing is to use that structure to write our own poetry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just going to share with you the script again and I'm going to play the film again just to give just so give us a quick reminder. There's a rangtan in my bedroom and I don't know what to do. She plays with all my teddies and keeps borrowing my shoe. She destroys all of my houseplants and she keeps on shouting boo. She throws away my chocolate and she howls at my shampoo. There's a rangtan in my bedroom and I don't want her to stay. So I told the naughty rangtan that she had to go away. Oh, rangtan in my bedroom, just before you go, why were you in my bedroom? I really want to know. There's a human in my forest and I don't know what to do. He destroyed all of our trees for your food and your shampoo. There's a human in my forest and I don't know what to do. He took away my mother and I'm scared he'll take me too. There are humans in my forest and I don't know what to do. They're burning it for palm oil. So I thought I'd stay with you. Oh, Rangtan in my bedroom, now I do know what to do. I'll fight to save your home and I'll stop you feeling blue. I'll share your story far and wide so others can fight too. Oh, Rangtan in my bedroom, I swear it on the stars. The future's not yet written, but I'll make sure it is ours. Okay, so if we go back to the flip chart, uh, we've got the script there, which is also on Google Classroom for you. But here, I've, there's another thing that I've put onto Google Classroom, which is a sort of writing frame to get you started. I haven't done a writing frame for the whole poem because I think that it will become fairly obvious how it's going to work. So <clears throat> the can I here is can I rewrite a poem? And it says, using the structure of the poem, can you create your own poem about an extinct or a near extinct animal? So the idea is that you choose a different extinct or well, near extinct animal. Um, a good place to start your research is the World Wildlife Fund, and that will give you some um, figures on uh, numbers of animals and reasons for their um, being endangered. So endangered species and near extinct animals is what you're looking for. Um, and so you're replacing the orangutan and the bedroom with um, your own ideas. So I'm just going to give you a couple. I'm going to read you a couple of examples um, to get you thinking about this. <clears throat> One, when we when we did this a couple of years ago, um, there were huge wildfires in Australia, and the um, animals in the who live in the Australian outback in the bush were were really in, in danger, and there were a lot. So this one is called, um, there's a koala in my bedroom. You can also change the bedroom to somewhere else in your house or in your garden or something. Okay, there's a koala in my bedroom and I don't know what to do. She eats all my plants and keeps hugging my shoe. She plays with all my toys and throws my shampoo. She hides under my desk and I don't know what to do. There's a koala in my bedroom and I don't want her to stay. So I told the annoying koala that she had to go away. Or oh, koala in my bedroom just before you go. Why were you in my bedroom? I really want to know. There's a fire in my home and I don't know what to do. It's spreading everywhere, so I thought I'd stay with you. There's a fire in my home and I don't know what to do. It took away my family and I'm scared it'll take me too. There's a fire in my home and it's really getting bad. Please help me and if you don't, I'll be mad. Oh, koala in my bedroom, now I do know what to do. I'll try and help stop the fires and raise awareness too. I'll share your story far and wide so others can help you. Or oh, koala in my bedroom, I swear it on the stars. The future's not yet written, but I'll make sure it's ours. Now that person has left the final um, verse, verse or stanza, um, as it was, but you can feel free to change that as well. Um, we did this in pairs last 
yeah, the last time we did it, um, which was a couple of years ago, uh, and it, because it was for a writing competition, a West Sussex poetry writing competition. Um, so we worked together on this. So um, if you want to do that, that's fine. If you want to work with somebody that, that's at home or even do a Zoom call with one of your friends and write something together. This one's called There's a Tiger in My Living Room. There's a tiger in my living room and I don't know what to do. She chews up all my paper and growls at my tiger print shoe. She tears up all my pillows and raises the fridge freezer too. She throws away my chocolate and keeps on shouting boo. There's a tiger in my living room and I don't want her to stay. So I told the angry tiger she had to go away. Oh, tiger in my living room, just before you go, why, why were you in my living room? I really want to know. There's a human in my forest and I don't know what to do. He took away my cubs and I'm scared he'll take me too. There's a human in my forest and I don't know what to do. He destroyed all of our trees for your food and your shampoo. There's a human in my forest and I don't know what to do. He's burning it for palm oil. So I thought I'd stay with you. Oh, tiger in my living room, now I do know what to do. I'll fight to save your home and stop you feeling blue. Okay, that's not quite finished. Um, you'll see in the second part of the poem, let me just go back to that first slide, where it says there's a human in my forest. Um, they've left that pretty much the same, but I think the challenge this year, because I'm going to give you Tuesday and Wednesday to do this, is to, is to change that as well. Okay, so I want you to have a go right through the poem, starting off with this writing frame, but then you should be able to just use the structure of this to um to write the rest of your poem um and i will put a blank document on uh google classroom for you to type it up and send it in so that's tuesday and wednesday when we get to thursday and friday we're going to look at some more poetry all about deforestation and climate change and then um hopefully you'll be able to be in a position after thinking about all of this rhythm and rhyme to write your own poem on thursday or friday okay so uh, I hope you enjoy doing that and I will see you. I won't do another video for Wednesday um, because I just want you to spend a couple of days on that. I will do a video for Thursday. Um, if you want to do anything extra before Thursday, find some more poetry. If you look on the internet or if you've got any poetry books at home, see if you can find some good examples of poetry about deforestation and email them to me or send me a link and then we can you can we can use those in the lesson on Thursday. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.